The Jonathan Majors assault trial is getting interesting. Jonathan's ex-girlfriend and accuser, Grace Jabari, took to the stand and shared details about the assault and Jonathan's past aggressive behavior. She also shared a recording, allegedly, of Jonathan going off on her and telling her she needs to be more like Coretta Scott King and Michelle Obama. What are your thoughts on Jonathan's alleged behavior, Q? Let me tell you something. Whoever from whatever side of the courtroom, they know exactly which headlines and pieces of the transcript to release in order to get people riled up. I mean, <laughs> just the thought of a black man telling a white woman that he needs, she needs to be more like two of the biggest female, you know, black influences of the civil rights movement. It's just laughable and upsetting. I know that it's extremely ignorant to look at somebody physically and say they look like they did it. But I'm ready for us to wrap this shit up already. Uh, you know, it, it, Jonathan Majors is another one. I don't have to hear another court transcript or anything. He did this shit. He did it. You, you know what, y'all? It's like, I, I'm not even in the mood tonight to be politically correct. He did it. And 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 I almost said Megan the Stallion and Megan the Good. You look stupid, Ma Megan the Good. I'm kind of done with you too because you look stupid as hell at this point. You just look dumb. You look <laughs> dumb. You look leased out. You look dumb. Your ass ain't even spent this much time going to damn auditions. We have actually seen you walking in more courtrooms than we've seen you walking on red carpets. I have more mental images of you walking, holding his hand than the amount of movies you've ever made in your career. What are you doing? And can we please, can Jonathan Majors pay his people off or whatever so we can be done with this? Oh, what do you think? Al, is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Sorry, my voice is like struggling right <laughs> no, now. No, no worries. Uh, you know, I'm like Q on this one. I got to agree with him. The more I learn about Jonathan Majors, especially during this trial, the more I don't, un not only do I don't understand him, but I'm starting not to like him. Like you said, how dare you compare two of I black female icons of the entire culture to a white woman in a plan? What plan is he talking about? See, this is the part that's so crazy, guys. Unless you read the documents, he was the one that contacted the police. He came home the next day. She was passed out in the living room because she took cough medicine from hanging out and she was stressed out. She took cough medicine. She passed out on the floor in the living room. He walks in, sees that she's passed out, call the police because he thinks she's going to hurt herself. The police come and ask her what happened and she tells the truth that she got in a fight. He beat her up. Okay, how many levels of this don't make any sense do we have to have in this situation? And now he finds himself in this situation. His career is completely tarred, not tarred, or marked. It, I don't think, I think he could probably come back. And then on top of that, he's taking one of our favorite black females down too, because she's looking crazy, just like Q said. The making good that we fell in love with to find out that she fell in love with him only a week or two after, because him and the girl were living in an apartment together in Chelsea. So I guess a week or two after when he got charged, he all of a sudden fell in love with Megan. Maybe they were dating before, but they didn't fell in love and now she can't leave his side. This all just feels contrived. It feels bad. It feels slimy, if I gotta be honest. You know, I, I hear you about taking one of our beloved ones down, but it doesn't have to. And we as the media don't have to give her straight just because we don't like him. Uh, I've dated people before and been 100% against their actions and I was with them for a dumb period and then I snapped the hell out of it and then I smartened up or I saw the light. But while I was in it, in love, dumb, digmatized, whatever you want to call it, it happens. And I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm better than that, that, you know, that we've not, uh, you know, a lot of people do this. I don't want her to catch strays for his actions. And he's still in a trial, guilty, to, uh, innocent to proven guilty. It does look bad. I am with y'all on that. It looks stupid as hell. And him saying this stuff about be like Coretta Scott King and Michelle Obama is ridiculous. I, I never saw the appeal of him myself, but that's why I'm not with him. You know what I mean? I don't see the appeal in him, but I hate that. You know, if she's bounced on him early, you're not standing by your man. That's just like a black woman to run when it gets hard. And then if she sticks by her side, she's being stupid and she should be punished for his actions. 
I'm focusing on Jonathan Majors, and that's it. I'm focusing. No, hold on. On no, no. Like, like I, 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 I agree with you in certain conversations, in certain situations, but in this instance, she deserves every stray she's catching, and here <laughs> is why: no one put her in this. Right. You only been with the MF for two weeks after the other woman. If we're to believe the timeline, I don't care where you come from. That ain't enough to be going to court with nobody. All right. And you're making it your business. We know what this court thing is, and we know the importance of getting out of the car and who you walk in with and what color you wear. We know that it's all contrived. You decided Megan Good to be a character in this play. So, baby, you get the round of applause and the standing ovation and the encore that comes along with being in this play. I'm sorry she's one of our Black favorites, and that's fine and well. But I'm going to be honest with her. You look stupid as hell. And to be quite honest, and y'all ain't going to like this, you kind of look crazy considering the fact that it was only two weeks between the other girl and you. So were you messing with him when he was with the other girl? Or are we to believe you magically fell in love with him two weeks after he got with the other girl? Either way, you look stupid as hell. Okay. And there's no way around it. And you're, you are choosing to catch these strays because instead of taking your ass to an acting class or to an audition, you're deciding to play Coretta Scott King or Betty Shabazz getting out of the, the 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 limousine every day what are we to do with that she had time there was no auditions or red carpets to go through because we just came off of actor strike so that's number one so there's no there was no red carpet to go to it was actually against policy to walk a red carpet I, like I said, I can be, I can agree with being dumb for love, but I don't think she deserves, we're spending more time talking about Megan Good than Jonathan Majors, and he's the one that's the alleged abuser, and that's what I don't like. Because there's nothing more because to say about him. There. He did the shit. He did it. Put so he put like himself her. in that relationship, and she has his back, right? But why she we put her, so she thing? injected herself into the conversation. No, we're injecting ourselves into her relationship that we don't know all the facts of. That's all I'm saying. I'm but saying, she should tell no. it to us then. If no, she, she should. Want, uh, she once should. again, see, if you gonna get your ass her. out that limousine every day and stand by your man, and you see the media and the press, and you got homegirls, then explain the shit to us then. And until she's ready to do that, you look dumb. I'm just not a fan of people sitting up in these boxes that have not had perfect relationships and perfect lives, me included, to act so judgmental and perfect when no one on this panel is perfect. Oh, I can tell you we're one not, thing. And that's we're that. not acting I can perfect. Tell you we're just giving thing. our opinion. Okay, well, you Hands see the person. down unequivocally, unequivocally, and I can stand I, I can stand no business on this. I ain't never been dumb for no man. I never, I have Q, never Q, in my life Q. been done This, say, no, this ain't about not. attacking each other because we've all given no, glimpses. No, we have not. We've no, all we given glimpses not. of being held over back. I think we have to go to commercial, you do. But let's, make it, let's not make a thing about us. I'm just saying, again, other people are catching strays for Jonathan Major's alleged. Well, she should stay her ass home. Okay. Can we go to commercial, please? I'm try I've been trying to.